We begin Fox 5 News at 4 with a look at Mountain's Edge. This is footage from our Fox 5 drone today. You can see the floodwaters still out there from yesterday's storms. And here's what it looked like last night right behind us. The floodwaters inundating neighborhoods with people out there just looking at the waters go by. Quite a scene last night that we brought you at Fox 5 News at 10 and 11. And floodwaters were up to people's knees. Cars got stuck. Homes are still being cleaned up today. We have our team coverage telling us why this all happened. Fox 5's Enzo Marino talked to officials out there today, and meteorologist Sam Argier will show us how so much rain got down there. But first, let's check in with Alexandre de Leon on how the community is cleaning up. And I'm just here off of Fort Apache and Blue Diamond Road. Let me just tell you, it is quite a different scene here than it was last night. Just take a look at some of these roads. A lot of this area is now cleared out, but people living here all woke up to that mud, debris, their landscaping ruin, and tons of water just flowing in their front yards. Hours after a heavy storm moved through this Mountain's Edge community, many neighbors were shocked to look out and see their streets flooding. I just heard a bunch of water, so I looked outside and it was just a wave of water coming down from both ends. This area saw about three inches of rain yesterday. A burn below the flood basin didn't hold up and caused all the water to flow into this neighborhood, nearly crashing into homes. We basically had to build a, a diversion to get the water to naturally drain the way it was supposed to go. Travis and his neighbors had to jump into action to block the water from flowing into his garage. In this video, you can see Travis's house blocked by several trucks, furniture pieces, anything to stop the water from crushing his home. As soon as the water broke from the speed bump up there and started rushing down the street, I knew I needed to create something to get the water to get away from my house. Eventually, Travis and many of his neighbors had to open a nearby gate to have the water flow away from their homes. They had to bust the gate down and it flushed all down that way, but then mostly it was just people in, in the water trying to get everything reinforced. Luckily, none of their homes sustained major damage, but today they were left with a thick pile of mud in front of their homes, which Clark County Public Works began to clean shortly after. It's, it's a huge mess. I mean, you guys can see it's just a disaster. Now, I just want you guys to all take a look at what we're looking at. This is just one of the things that a homeowner had to do to divert that water from coming near their homes. You can see it's made out of bricks and a couple of pieces of wood. But you can see now that the Clark County Public Works did a really good job of cleaning this area up. There's virtually no water. It's all dried up. And there any of the mud that is left, I did speak with a lot of the HOAs in this area. They told me they are going to be coming by as soon as it's dried up, just like it is right now, to clean this up. Up from a lot of these homeowners. Now I'm going to give it back to you, Sam, to explain kind of how all of this water and rain came from. Yeah, Alex, want to break down the lay of the land and what actually caused this flooding yesterday. So it's bringing the Las Vegas Valley, of course, Mountain's Edge, the far southwest valley. This thunderstorm rolled through between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon, dropping some very heavy rain. We had a flash flood warning come down as it moved through. Uh, right around the Mountain's Edge community, nearly an inch of rain at one of the closest gauges to the areas of flooding. But upstream over the mountains, three inches estimated falling from this storm and a lot of that falling in about an hour. So all that running off into the lower elevations. Now our flood control did its job in the sense that the detention basin, which we have one just west of the neighborhood, the upper Duck Creek detention basin held the water and then released it at a slower rate. But even though the we do see it at a slower rate, it was so quick that the flooded neighborhood saw that water move on in and it was actually a natural wash that drains out of that detention basin, meaning it's not lined with concrete. So the dirt barriers were breached and that's what caused the water to go into that neighborhood that you were reporting live from Alex. Let's show you what it looked like on the radar image. This is again between 2 and 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon. You can see how heavy the rain was for a good hour period over Mountain's Edge. Today, much calmer. We did have a couple showers and storms flare up south of Boulder City. But we're moving in a calmer direction for the weekend, and that's going to cause temperatures to go up. We'll cover more on that coming up in your Fox 5 seven day forecast. But we want to get out to Fox 5 reporter Enzo Marino. He has been on scene this afternoon asking officials more questions on why this all happened. Enzo, we'll send it over to you. 
All right, Sam, thank you for that. Yeah, at the top of the hour, you heard from our, our Alexandra De Leon, and she talked about the cleanup effort here in the neighborhood. I want to go into a little bit more depth about why this neighborhood was hit so hard. And we have some aerial footage that's really going to better explain the situation here. Take a look at that footage. We spoke with the general manager of the Regional Flood Control District, and he says there was about three inches of rainfall that flowed down into the detention basin on the west side of Mountain's Edge. As you referred to earlier, Sam, the basin did its job. It slowed down the speed of the runoff water and slowly released it downstream. But instead of flowing into a set of pipes like it was supposed to, a berm that was created by the subdivision here eroded and that flood water came rushing into the streets. There's a lot of water that had to drain out and it drains out over time so it drained overnight and into this morning and so with that constant water running against that berm it just eroded it out and caused it to fail and so that's that's why the water went into the roadway. Public Works was out here today. They reinforced the berm with some rock to make sure that the water runoff goes where it's supposed to. But people who live here are not happy about this. We spoke with one man who said his next move is to go straight to the HOA. Listen to this. What I'm going to do is go to Mountain's Edge HOA and see if I can get them to uh, get a petition together with a lot of homeowners to get the builders to be responsible for this because this is the worst I've ever seen in my community here in Mountain's Edge. Never anything like this. The regional flood control district said the regional flood control district, excuse me, says it has a master plan. It's going to build a pipe from Fort Apache, uh, Apache to its detention basin, so something like this doesn't happen again. Meanwhile, residents here, people who live here, are keeping their fingers crossed. I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.